now, we all have no clue. It's insane how much feedback we're getting on this documentary. And I went on to get into a lot of trouble, and now the most important part of the story is I went on to turn my life around, and I mean, y'all know, y'all didn't have it. Shit, I'm here because of y'all. I promise you, if nobody bought a ticket, they wouldn't let me come. <laughs> this is how that works. And it just, I, I wanted to write that album, and we had already wrote a song called Dancing with the Devil. And that same day that we had wrote Dancing with the Devil, Zach and myself and Hunter had wrote a song called Hung Over in a Church Pew. And at the same time, me and Hardy had wrote a song called Church, and I don't want to get spiritual here, but I just felt like God was telling me, man, you need to write the album. You need to write this out. This is clear what you need to do. Because, you know, I'm a 39-year-old father of a 15-year-old. I'm a completely different person than when I started making music. And I said, well, fuck it. We're going to do it. I wanted to call the album Church. I just want to call it Church. Somebody said, why don't you, name Zach Crowell said, why don't you just name it after that little old church? And I said, well, hell, it might sue me. Some of y'all might know Waffle House sued me one time, so I was like, I'm a little gun shy, a little nervous. I know you can get sued now. I'm careful. You know what I'm saying? Shit. And I said, well, turns out Winston Chapel Baptist Church is still there. It's still going great. And they loved that I called the album Winston Chapel. I've since got to go back and hang out and meet the pastor and some of the deacons, and it's been incredible. So I want to sing for y'all the last song on Winston Chapel. This song is called Hungover in a Church Pew. <laughs> 